Mick Maloney here in Bangkok, Thailand, where I have been in lockdown for the last five months. But one adapts. Um, for the next 15 uh, weeks, uh, I'll be bringing you uh, either a song or a set of tunes here. Uh, and uh, they're on various themes, various topics. I've learned them at various times in my life and I'll be playing them with a variety of different musicians that I've encountered on the journey and greatly enjoy performing with. This particular song, Joseph Baker, that I'm going to sing for you now, it um, really dates back uh, in my own musical life to the time I spent in England in the 1960s. Uh, I went there originally, my first um, venture as a professional musician was to England. Uh, I was a member of a group in Ireland called the Johnstons, Adrian Johnson, Lucy Johnston, Michael Johnston, and eventually Paul Brady and myself. Now the family, the Johnston family, had had a big hit with a, a song called The Travelling People, written by Ewan McCall, and were pretty famous by the time I joined the group and then later Paul. We got a, a contract uh, from a, a famous English recording company of the time, Transatlantic Records, based in London. And over we went, we made the big move, uh, and we relocated, as you might say, uh, to England. And we did a lot of big concerts. We did uh, a lot of appearances on radio and on television. But for the most part, we played on what was called the English folk club scene at the time. It was an extraordinary scene. There were, you know, by some counts, over 650 folk clubs uh, scattered all over England and Wales and Scotland. And typically there would be local get-togethers where musicians would get together over a, um, a pub in a room uh, or over a pub and bring up their drinks with them and uh, sing songs. And then at the, uh, the end of a, a performance from the local singers, the guest artists would be invited. And uh, oftentimes it was us and we did half an hour. Uh, and then we took a break and went down and had drinks with the locals, mingled, went back up and, and did the whole thing over again and often finished with a song that everyone could join in, a kind of a communal farewell. Uh, sometimes it was a song like Will You Go, Lassie Go, which became kind of an unofficial anthem of the folk movement at the time. It was a magical way, an extraordinary way to discover a country and uh, we were deliriously happy, almost love the fantasy come true, to be earning your living at that time in the 60s, playing music and, and meeting other musicians, meeting people all over the place. We made uh, six LPs uh, and uh, finally, as all groups eventually do, we went our, our separate ways. Uh, but um, not before learning an awful lot of, of, of new songs and, and new tunes that continued to shape our musical lives. I learned a song from a man called Pete Coe just before I left England to go to America in 1973. And he was a singer and a songwriter, still is, uh, and a local historian. Uh, and he was fascinated uh, by many historical themes, but came across a character called Joseph Baker, a runner. Now, there were a lot of songs about runners and walkers and athletes of different kinds in the folk tradition, uh, right up to the middle of the 20th century. Uh, and this was uh, about a character uh, called Joseph Baker, mysterious sort of character, not much is known about his actual life. But he was a runner and he ran uh, the mile in under five minutes, a big feat in the 1890s when most of his feats were accomplished. Uh, and he died young. Uh, and his name would be lost forever if it weren't for Pete Coe, uh, being fascinated by the story and writing this song, which is named after him, uh, Joseph Baker. And uh, joining me on this uh, over in Dublin is a woman I met actually about 200 yards away from where I'm talking today in Bangkok, uh, in a pub called Finnegan's, upstairs in a pub, like the old English folk clubs. Her name is Brenda Castles. And uh, it was around 10.30 at night and then she came. She was on the way to Mongolia with her concertina. Uh, and, uh, and, and we had a few tunes, as we say in the tradition, and stayed in touch ever since. And in recent years, been playing a lot with her in Ireland and in America. And she's kind of an honorary member of our group over there, the Greenfields of America. And she'll be joining me uh, in, in Dublin for this song, Joseph Baker. You sporting men of Chester, I'll have you all to hear Of a man named Joseph Baker, who lived near Delamere And he ran faster than the old red 
fox and further than the hound. Of all the men that challenged him, no equal could be found. And he rose up every morning before the day was clear. And through the shady forest he pursued the royal deer. He chased the wind across the heath and the mist right up the hill. And he chased the dust along the road and the stream down to the mill. Now sportsmen came from far and near to challenge Baker's speed. In every race, in every place, they swore to do the deed. Now a tailor came from Frojan, and the soldier came from Hale, and the tinker came from Birkenhead, and the butcher came from Sale. Down from Castle to Church and up by Hell's 